We're very good. Uh, the first trophy for this club. Uh, it's a proud moment for all of us. Um, yeah. Um, it was great that we could do it here. You know, obviously, what we pride ourselves on is that this club, which is only in its second year, has a real connection with supporters and a connection with the city. And we've always tried to have a team that everybody could feel part of. And uh, to win the first trophy here, especially that it's the supporter shield, because we feel so strongly about our supporters. Um, that's pretty damn special. And, uh, and so everybody, you know, people who are part of this organization before any players arrived, any coaches arrived, started some momentum. And there was always going to be uh, the responsibility of us then to turn something on the football side that could keep up with everything that they had done. And, uh, you know, we, we had an idea of playing a certain style and trying to have players that our, our fans could really identify with. And uh, it's early. We've got a lot of work to do. Uh, I talk about football after every game, and I say all the things that I still know can get better and better and better. But still, to think that now we won a trophy tonight uh, and that we can all feel part of something that's um, going in a really, really good direction. We're all really proud. Congratulations. Um, it, you, you mentioned how much it means to win the Supporter Shield in front of your home supporters, but by MLS standards and context, is the MLS Cup, can you prioritize or say, does one mean more to the other? Is, I'm not it, talking about that. Yeah. You know, look, historically, sure, MLS Cup. Uh, around the world, um, the team that's the best in the season. Um, but from the beginning of MLS, it was, it was the MLS Cup, so we know that. Um, but that doesn't take away from uh, how we feel tonight, that we, we were able to uh, uh, win the first trophy in, in the club's history and do it here uh, at the bank in front of our supporters. Um, yeah, and then and we'll celebrate this and then we'll uh, turn the page and back to keep trying to make the football better and a couple more games to do that and a couple two and a half weeks or whatever and go for it again. You know, for me, the most important part uh, is to just continue to to uh, believe in, in, in what we try to do every time we step on the field and just try to do it at a better and better level. So, uh, yeah, we're... Uh, if I said that to the team tonight, it would be the wrong time, so we'll get to it. But uh, yeah, we're excited that uh, we took that one. The first one's the hardest. There's no two ways about that. The first trophy is the hardest one. And so now everybody can breathe and celebrate and have joy and know that it, it's a special feeling. And then we can uh, get back and start using these next two games. Bob, congratulations. When you talk about uh, you know, the, the football ideas that won you the supporter shield over the season, the stretch that you guys just came out of, what did you think of the team X's and O's wise in terms of how they won it tonight, how they played the football ideas, and how they executed? Our ideas are there all the time. But obviously, you know, I remind all of you that um, making the right pass, getting the timing right, reacting the right way, um, finding ways when you lose the ball to win it back quickly. Those are not givens. Those are things you work on all the time. Those are, you know, the, those are the little details. And, and uh, we never get ahead of ourselves because we still have perspective of what the best teams look like. And so um, the challenge that, that I present every day with these guys is, is, is how can we make them better players? How can we make a better team? And how can we just keep building on that? Uh, but. I didn't say a word after the game tonight um, because they they deserve to uh, all be together and just uh, enjoy that moment. Um, you know, Carlos Carlos never been a captain on a team that won something that now in front of all his fans gets handed the supporter shield and can now hold it up for everybody. And so with everything he's done in his career, man, that's special. And so. Um, Tonight is about that. Tonight is about uh, everybody knowing that the, uh, you know, the challenges that go on every day and this idea of how we can play better football 
Um, tonight, it, it, it's uh, it, it's the joy of, of winning something, and, uh, and then we'll just keep going with the rest. Uh, congratulations. Uh, the way the game was going, it kind of seemed like in the first half, you know, you guys were pushing for that first goal. You wanted to get rid of the goal. Half time, it seemed a little poetic that you guys were kind of challenged and trying to get back out there and get the lead again. Is there something particular that you said to the team perhaps before in a half time that kind of changed your strategy? Or is it just the same plan to go out there and win and get, you know, get the score? Yeah, we didn't change our strategy. We had to sharpen up certain things. Uh, there's still moments where we're anxious, and that's nothing new. Trying the hardest pass at the wrong time. Um, in the first half when we had moments to really react fast and, and win the ball back, I didn't think we always had everybody on board. And you can't counter press with a couple of guys. You need to get the right numbers and get everybody involved. So, you know, I reminded them that um, we could raise the level. And, you know, I think as the second half went on, we did that. So, yeah, that was good. Uh, what was going through your head during the celebration afterwards? Um, you know, I, I um, as much as I talk about football, right, and as much as I, I see little details and things that, that for me are so important, um, I also know the human part. I know the part when there's a group and everybody uh, is part of something that's bigger than any one of them. And, and to see all of those guys um, <coughs> celebrate together. Uh, and, and to know how much it means to all the supporters that are that have been there from day one and, and just from the first minute to the last minute of every match. So that part, uh, that part's special. And uh, I was just um, excited to see uh, how happy the players were and what that meant to all of them and what it meant to the supporters. Hello, Bob. Um, congratulations. Thanks. Given the results of the previous five matches, and how satisfying or gratifying was this victory to take it, to snap that streak or whatever you want to call it, and were the fit players feeling a bit frustrated during that the last five matches, knowing that they could have secured the shield in the last two matches or whatever? Yeah, we want to play uh, at our best all the time, but I said it's not a given. You know, this is this is how football works. Um, you know, sometimes I get these questions like, uh, you know, do you need to change something, right? And, you know, I think back, uh, uh, you know, the Toronto game, uh, there's a play really early in the second half where uh, uh, Edward gets a ball and, and spins out of, of trouble in the midfield and makes a really good left-footed pass to Mark Anthony Kay, and now he's on the move going forward. And for a second, he thinks about playing Carlos, and maybe he thinks the window closes. And instead, uh, he, he stops and turns, and he plays the ball inside to Latif. And as Latif got the ball, uh, you know, there, there's different windows, and, and he chose to try to play dead center to Carlos. And at the moment, uh, their left back was tucked in pretty far, and Brian was sprinting, and. And so, you know, when you guys say, like, what happened tonight? What happens sometimes is that now Latif, maybe in that moment, uh, thought he could slip it to Carlos when the better one would have been to go right across the, the outside back. And so those are details. Those are, those are things that you try to work on every day so that players can make as many good plays as possible every game. Uh, and, and when we're not at our best, we know it. Uh, and so we just continue to try to... Uh, do it. In this last stretch for me, uh, you know, the, the, the part of trying to get every play right and the part of challenging the football ideas, uh, that's got to go to hand in hand with the part of uh, getting everybody excited about something and get everybody uh, knowing how special it is to, to have a chance to win something. So uh, I've taken the bar. Um, you know, more in the direction of making sure everybody knew that seasons like this don't happen all the time. And so we get to the end, enjoy every second, and let's go for it, and let's be brave. So, yeah, I mean, as much as we lost some games, so what? You know, that's not, not some games. We lost one. Um, yeah, that's, you know, when it, it only highlights 
how, how well we've done all year. I mean, like I said, to go on a, uh, to, to, to put points, to take points game after game after game, and then to go through uh, five games where you only take four points, sure, we know that. But um, you just have to get back and get everybody uh, playing, playing at their best. So that, that's the way it works. Last question. Coach, I was just going to ask you about that. How is that speech coming into this game about how seasons like this don't happen all the time? Yeah, I how remind you us. See the moment. Is this trophy more special because it reflects what you guys have done like all season long? Sure. I mean, this trophy is special because we're the second year into uh, this this club and this team. And, and we said from the beginning we want to we want to try to push forward, create chances, score goals, um, be fun to watch, and, and you know those, those things sound good, but you've got to stay on a lot of things uh, in order to make that happen all the time. And, uh, what happens when maybe a result or two doesn't go your way? Then you've got to make sure that guys um, don't start looking for answers uh, that don't fit. You know, you gotta remind them that if we've given up a goal lately, uh, we don't need to change the way we defend. Uh, we've given up, what is it now, 35 goals a year. I think that's the least number in the league. So if you make a mistake, and some of these guys are looking at you and they wanna know, yeah, but in this situation, do you want me to do this or this, right? We've not talk that way ever. We talk about making decisions and reacting and how sometimes you gotta do two things at once. And and so when something goes wrong and all of a sudden they are looking for answers that you haven't given them in two years, you have to say, listen, that's not how we play. And we wouldn't be where we are if that's the way we had gone about it. So it's just reminders and then like I said before, it's it's most of all to make sure everybody embraces the moment because yeah, look, everybody wants to play. Everybody wants to play well. Um, but to be part of a team that accomplishes something, it doesn't happen all the time. And when you have coached for a long time, you know that, uh, look, for some guys, maybe that's the only, maybe that's the first trophy they ever won. Who knows? Maybe for some, it'll be the last, all right? And so you, you want to remind them that when you make a team, everybody's part of it. And, you know, it's hard because... Yes, the ones who play, the ones who score the goals or whatever, tend to get the recognition. But you have to really do everything you can so that all the others who come in every day and train well and get better and push others, they're all part of it. What happens on the field is the product of everyone. It's not the product of just the guys you put on the field. But it's easy to forget that. And so, you know, you go to great lanes over and over and over and you hope that sometimes uh, there can be a night where everybody can feel it. Thanks guys. Thank you.